Okay. Hi, good morning, uh, guys. I'm Max from ERM from Berlin. And uh, I'm happy to uh, show you our latest product here at Musikmesse now. Um, it's called Multiclock. And um, it's the missing, uh, missing link to uh, finally be able to synchronize software like Ableton or Cubase or whatever DAW uh, you're using, any sequence, uh, software sequence you're using with your outbound gear like MIDI gear, analog gear, Dinsync gear, and um, not in the means that you, how you know it with the MIDI clock, but we use a dedicated audio clock signal to sample accurate sync all your outbound gear to your DAW. And I can show you um, what we do. Uh, we started here um, on the computer and um, I just started a wood block, which you should hear right now, as the reference. And um, also start a pad. And uh, as soon as uh, we start everything on the computer, um, the multi clock uh, starts to sync up to, um, to uh, our special um, to our special um, synth track that you, we generate from a plugin. And um, from then on, you can just start four external machines that you can connect. Over here on uh, the DIN buttons, you can uh, connect MIDI machines, dancing machines, analog gear machines with uh, an adapter. You can just start them in and um, run them in sync with your software. And um, so, what makes it special, though? I mean, you know, sync box is a sync box. Why, a sync box is a sync box, but it is special because. Um, we have no jitter anymore. You can see it here on the scope, which shows the reference clock coming from Ableton and the clock that we have generated to, uh, in this case, sync up the modular system. And the jitter of the clock is plus minus one sample. And this is what makes it special in terms of uh, synchronization, because usually if you want to sync the UW with um, external gear, you uh, have a jitter if you use MIDI of uh, several milliseconds, which is, which is magnitudes more than we have with this box. It's interesting, I mean, people who use modular stuff for sequencing always say how tight it is. Yeah. And they, they really are more against MIDI because it's so loose. I mean, yeah. every, everybody else has been using MIDI for years, but yeah. it, it does have a slop to it, doesn't it? It is really sloppy, and that's why, um, why we use a dedicated audio track to sync everything up, because the only interface we have on the computer which has no jitter in terms of the, how we how we need it in uh, terms of accuracy for making music with the computer is the audio interface and we then just generate all the necessary stuff to uh, sync up modular sync up din sync up midi and we can compensate any start lag of the machine um, by enabling you to shift the machines around in time and you should definitely hear it that we're completely off, the reference is still the wood block, but um, if you compare it to uh, the bass drum coming from the um, MFP 5 yeah, 2 over here, you can just shift the tracks around in time. I guess I could show it you uh, on the oscilloscope again, but you see it here, and if I turn the blue knob, the blue lines, which is slave, just start shifting. We're and talking small amounts, but you can detect the feel of it, can't you? What? You can detect the feel of it. You yeah, can, you yeah. can de detect the feel. You can compensate for uh, start lag and delays. Uh, you can um, find the right phase that you want for your sound. And uh, additionally, you just um, add some shuffle. You can start and stop the machines on the fly, um, which means they start on the next downbeat of the next bar. Um, yeah, and it's what, actually what it does. It uh, solves so, so uh, your do you, sync how, problems. How does it know where you are in the uh, in the bar? In the bar? Yeah, it just counts the beats and knows where it is. And if you're using a song mode, it just passes on the song position pointer and recalculates it and passes on to all the machines. So it takes audio and MIDI and just works the difference between the two? Is that the way it, it works? It uh, works without MIDI and then just starts to count. Um, when the next full bar starts uh, in the machine. So you do need do you need to send it a special kind of uh, audio pulse so it understands what there the is a plugin is. that we use to generate all the necessary pulses. You just uh, add a plugin to your uh, 
to uh, um, um, uh, um, a track on, on your machine to a dedicated output and just send these audio signals in the machine and uh, from then on they're in complete sync. So is this available now and what sort of price? It will be available uh, in May and will cost 450 euro. So for people who really want to use analog machines live, this is really going to tighten things yeah, up for them. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And it solves the problem uh, live for artists, but also in the studio to finally be able to sync up all these machines and all this nice gear that you can see here at Schneider's booth um, with your DAW and especially for recording and performing. Even if you're not using a computer, you can use the machine as a standalone sync box, uh, which allows you to shift around the different machines in time, adjust for start lag and really find a nice groove uh, with all your old machines. It um, is a master clock generator nevertheless. Um, you can also, of course, if you really want to whatever, sync up to MIDI, you can sync up to anything. It can slave to anything, convert, convert it um, to uh, whatever you need. So I guess it's a one-stop shop for sync from now on. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.